Hello everyone. In our previous video, we had discussed the effect of pressure on equilibrium constant and also the effect of pressure on equilibrium composition. We had also discussed the effect of temperature on equilibrium constant. So today I am going to talk about the uh, one numerical problem which is based on uh, extent of reaction and uh, effect of temperature on uh, equilibrium constant. So the question is ammonia synthesis reaction and the reaction is given 1 by 2 N2 plus 3 by 2 H2 gives NH3. Assume that each gas behaves as an ideal gas with constant heat capacity. So heat capacities of different um, components are given. Then we need to find out equilibrium constant at 298 Kelvin, then equilibrium constant at 500 Kelvin and assuming delta H naught is not constant and the degree of reaction which is the extent of reaction epsilon at 500 Kelvin and 10 bar if initial molar, molar ratio of N2 to H2 is 1 by 3 and uh, standard gives free energy and standard enthalpy for NH3 for ammonia is given to us. So let's start. So first we need to find out the equilibrium constant at 298 Kelvin. So two temperatures are given. So let's consider this T1 is 298 Kelvin. Okay. So uh, with the help of this we can find out ln K1 and we know that which is what is this del H0 RT right. This is it comes from we know that this is delta G naught is equals to minus RT ln of K. So we just rearrange this. So you can substitute the, all the values. So this equation has become exponential of minus delta G naught upon RT. So just substitute all these values. So K1 is equals to exponential and this is negative delta G naught. So negative, negative, positive 16450 upon 8.314 and temperature is 298 Kelvin and when you solve this you will get the value of K1 is 764.762 okay now the ratios uh, of N2 to H2 is given to us right it is 1 by 3 so from this we come to know or you can first uh, you can find out K also. So from the fact of temperature we know that uh, yeah, we will discuss later. So K upon K1 minus delta H naught upon R 1 upon T minus 1 upon T1. So now we have all these values. So this will be become ln of K minus ln of K1 here negative negative becomes positive so 46110 8.314 and 1 by t is 500 and 1 minus 298.15 ln of k minus ln of 764.762 then 46110 upon 8.314 1 upon 500 minus 1 upon 298. So when you solve this, so you will get the value of this is it comes minus 7.518. Okay, ln of k minus ln of 764.762. And then when you solve this, so the value of k it comes 0 0.415. Fine. Now this is your second part. Right. So second answer is this. First answer is 764 points uh, equilibrium constant and 298, 298 Kelvin is 764.762 and at 500 it is 0.415. Okay. Now degree of reaction. So first we need to find out the extent of reaction uh, uh, epsilon at 500 Kelvin and 10 bar. Okay. So let's start this. So we, uh, what is given to us, molar ratio is given to us. So this is our third part. N2, H2 is 1 is to 3. So total number of moles, total number of moles is 1 plus 3 is equals to 4. 
So let's write the components in the reaction. So we have nitrogen, hydrogen, and NH3, and overall uh, stoichiometric, stoichiometric coefficient. And stoichiometric coefficient for individual components is for reactant minus half. This is minus 3 by 2, and this is positive 1. And overall is, this is minus 2 plus 1, so minus 1. Okay. Uh, composition in terms of, uh, we know that the formula for this uh, extent of reaction. So this is Ni0 plus uh, nu i epsilon upon total number of moles and uh, overall stoichiometric coefficient of for both the component and uh, extent of reaction. So first, uh, this is the overall formula. Now we can write for N2. So NiO, so initial uh, number of moles of nitrogen is 1. Then uh, stoichiometric coefficient of N2 is minus half epsilon. This is minus half upon epsilon. And then total number of moles is 4. And a stoich uh, overall stoichiometric coefficient is minus 1. So minus epsilon. Okay. Similarly, you can write for H2, this has become uh, H2, the initial number of H2 is 3. So 3 minus 3 by 2 epsilon and denominator is remain same. Then Y and H3, this is uh, initial number of moles are none and uh, this is stoichiometric, individual stoichiometric coefficient is positive 1. So epsilon and denominator is same for everyone. Okay. Then what is given to us? Pressure is given 10 bar. Fine. So we know that that K is equal to from the effect of pressure on equilibrium constant Ky P nu. Okay. And Ky is equal to K P minus nu. Okay. So what we do? We just substitute all these values here. So Ky is equal to uh, K is, uh, it is, is equal to 0.415 and this is 10 bar and it overall stoichiometric coefficient, this is the overall stoichiometric coefficient. So minus already there and minus 1. So the value of Ky is 4.15. So now we can write Ky, how we can write this product upon reactant. So product, uh, this will be equal to Y and H3, their X, X, uh, stoichiometric coefficient, then Y N2, its stoichiometric coefficient is half, and Y N, uh, sorry, H2 reactant 3 by 2. So now we know all these value in terms of uh, stoich, uh, this extent of reactions. We can substitute here, substitute all these values. So KY is equals to uh, the value of Ky, we know that it is 4.15, okay. It is equals to epsilon of 4 minus epsilon upon 1 minus half of epsilon upon 4 minus epsilon half and then 3 minus 3 by 2 epsilon upon 4 minus epsilon 3 by 2. So, uh, what we do, we just uh, square both sides. So, what we get 4.15 whole square and here it is epsilon square upon 4 minus epsilon square and this will be equal to 1 minus half of epsilon upon 4 minus epsilon and this is 3 minus 3 by 2 epsilon upon 4 minus epsilon and this will be square. So this is square and this is cancelled and then you just solve this part. So this will be equal to 17.258 and here it is epsilon square. This is cube. Okay. So 2, 1. So 4 minus uh, from here we have uh, yeah, but 1, 1, 1, 4 minus this is equal to square and 4 minus. So, square, square cancel and uh, what is remaining? 1, 4 minus epsilon. So, it comes in the num numerator 
So epsilon square, 4 minus epsilon square, and in the denominator we have 1 upon 1 minus half epsilon, and here it is 3 minus 3 by 2 epsilon cube. And when you solve this, you will get the, uh, just put all, all, all these values on the calculator. So you will get the value of epsilon comes around 1.2. Okay. And then we need to find out the degree of reaction. Uh, so this is, epsilon is known. And if you further find, uh, want to find uh, the uh, equilibrium composition, then what, what uh, you will do, you just substitute the value of uh, epsilon in the these relation right uh, for the individual components so you will find out uh, equilibrium composition also so uh, for y and 2 we have this formula so 1 minus 1 by 2 1.2 upon 4 minus 1.2 right so you can substitute this you will get the value 0.414 similarly for h2 also you can just substitute all these values here right so it comes 0.42 and by nh3 comes 0.43 so these are the uh, values for the equilibrium composition so uh, this is how you can solve these kind of uh, problems uh, in our next video we will solve some more uh, problems related to uh, this uh, extent of reaction and the effect of temperature and pressure on equilibrium constant. Thank you.